So who has followed the Beyond Meat IPO? Oh, there's someone over there. <laughs> He's very happy. Now, insects is in the same field. It uses insects to produce food. Yeah. The moment for animals mostly, but in the yeah. future maybe for animals like us. Alexis, please, thank you so much for being here. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am uh, Alex Yango. I'm a uh, general secretary and co-founder of Insect. Uh, Insect is a very, very particular company. Uh, as you may guess, uh, we are farming at large scale insects and transforming them into uh, high quality products for animals that are naturally eating uh, insects. So, of course, uh, I'll be uh, setting up the, the scenery uh, in, in a couple of slides. Uh, you all know that the ag industry, the food industry, has huge impact on the environment, uh, water uh, shortage, uh, biodiversity uh, decrease, and uh, greenhouse uh, gases emissions. And it's not going to change because the, 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 the demography is going up and up, and we need more animal feed, we need more uh, plant nutrition. Today, uh, those two uh, plant and animal feed markets are reaching uh, 70, uh, 750 uh, million uh, market. Now they are reaching, in, in, in about 10 years, uh, one uh, trillion market per year. And in the nature, uh, insects are actually the, 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 the sources of the animal uh, nutrition. Uh, in, the, in the wild, uh, plants are fertilized by uh, insect manure, and in the wild, uh, f fish, um, birds, reptiles are eating insects. If our farmed animals uh, were fed uh, with insects, uh, as they, they will be eating in the wild, the industry of insect farming will reach 100 million dollars per year. So we have been uh, digging uh, what are the different insect species. Uh, we have uh, founded the company eight years ago. We have studied different species, the flies, the beetles, the crickets, and um, we actually love the mealworm. The mealworm is also called the Tenebrio monitor. It's a small beetle that has a larvae stage, as you can see on, on the slide. And this animal can be really easily uh, farmed. It was actually farmed for decades uh, as a um, bait for uh, fish uh, farmers, uh, for fish, uh, uh, for people that like uh, fishing uh, in, the, in the wild on, on, on the weekends. Uh, this uh, species is, uh, I mean, it ca can be found anywhere in Europe. Uh, it is um, safe, it is non-toxic, it is not exotic. Uh, and when we transform the mealworm into a meal, so into a powder, uh, you get a very blockbuster product. The, the, the protein content that is the most variable part of the, of the product for the fish farmers is reaching 72%. In comparison, the fish meal, which is a product um, produced out of small fish caught in the Pacific Ocean mainly and transformed into a meal, uh, is only reaching 70%. So the insect meal, the Tenebrio monitor meal, is higher in protein content than the, the, the fish meal, and then reaching what is called the, the premium part of the animal feed market. And that premium uh, part of the animal feed market is in high tension. Uh, for the last 10 years, the volume of the fish meal has been decreasing almost by a third. Uh, and the price of the fish meal uh, has been multiplied by three to five, depending on the season. So fish farmers that are uh, depending on the fish meal to farm their fish, because most of the farms that are f uh, farmed are carnivorous, so they need animal proteins, are now very uh, looking for alternatives to the fish meal in order to have the price of their feed decreasing. And 
what we have discovered uh, after having tried the insect meal on the fish is that the fish are actually in a better shape and a better health than when we are, they are eating fish meal. Uh, this was not something we had uh, forecast uh, when we created the company. We just wanted to uh, make a better product than the, than the fish meal and to uh, bring a solution to the fish farmers that we are seeing the, the fish uh, meal prices going higher and higher. But we are not projected that the insect meal will have a benefit health effect on the fish. To be uh, clearer, uh, on the trout, you have a body weight that is higher of 35% when you get the exact same content of uh, meal. And the, the, the health is also uh, better. Uh, the mortality is reduced. And uh, the, in the end, the, the level of resources that is needed is getting down. We got the same results on the plants. If you, uh, if you uh, compare organic fertilizers and insect fertilizer, uh, you have a, uh, a boosting of the soil biodiversity and a higher growth of the plants when you use the insect manure. And last but not least, uh, we've been trying, uh, I mean, testing the fish that had been fed with insect meal. And we compared the, the, the fish, actually a trout, uh, with a trout that has been fed with fish meal. And I'm not the one saying that. That guy is saying it. He's a very famous chef in, uh, in, uh, in Norway. The cleanest flavor came from the fish, which was fed with 100% mealworm. And it is actually fully normal, because in the nature, trouts are eating about 40% uh, of insects in their natural diet. So we're just going back to the naturality. So how we do it? Uh, we are actually uh, building plants. Uh, so it's highly verticalized. It's uh, verticalized uh, agriculture. Uh, it's highly robotized. Uh, this is the demo plant that we have in Burgundy in the east of France. Um, that plant has been up and running for about two years now. Uh, it's only a demo plant, so it's not profitable. Uh, it uh, helps us to show that the technology is working, to show that uh, customers are happy with the, with the product. Um, but it's only the, the first stage. The next stage is a big, much bigger plant. Uh, we are now uh, on the verge of building a uh, huge plant in the north of France. Uh, to do so, we had to raise money. And a couple of months ago, uh, we uh, raised 110 million euros, the biggest fundraising in the ag tech sector in Europe. 110 million euros was not an easy uh, uh, fundraising to, to finalize, and we are very, very happy to, uh, to, uh, to announce it a couple of, uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, and a couple of days ago, uh, we announced a huge uh, European f grant of $25 million uh, that would help us also to, to finalize the, the financing and the funding of the, of the next plant. Um, our goal is, to, of course, not to uh, stop to that first plant in the north of France. Uh, we'll go much uh, beyond. Uh, we think we could build about 15 and more uh, plants that would reach a production of more than 1 million tons of insect meal. Uh, that would lead us to uh, 5 billion euros uh, revenue per year. And uh, maybe to, to finish quickly, um, that, um, that idea that we had uh, uh, about eight years ago now um, was seen as a fully uh, crazy idea. Uh, farming insect, uh, transforming insect uh, eight years ago uh, was uh, only giving us uh, smiles when it was uh, nice and love when it was <laughs> a bit less nice. Um, today, uh, farming insects and transforming them is a reality. It's still a bit crazy, but it's now a reality. Thank you very much. And before you get off stage, I'm having a dinner party tomorrow. What type of insects are the most yummy ones? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Maybe grasshopper? Uh, uh, grasshopper are very good. <laughs> uh, I've tried a lot. The one I would recommend... How many insects the, you tried? The, 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 uh, I, I would say uh, maybe five to ten different species. But the one I would recommend... Uh, I, was, I was in Mexico uh, a couple of years ago. And you can hit uh, ants' eggs.
Ah. And it's very, very good. Like it's caviar. Yeah, it's like a caviar. Oh, fantastic. It's, a, it's, a, it's really a delicacy yeah, in Mexico. And uh, when it's uh, well cooked with the uh, onions and uh, with a little spice, it's just great. We tell our caterers for next year. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much.